levels of organization. The first level which is already mentioned here is the cell which is the smallest unit of living organism. You know when we talk about multicellular organisms, all cells are not present just randomly in a round, right? They are present in the proper organization. So the first level of organization is cell which is the second Okay, Priya has given the full-fledged answer. The second is tissue. So, what are basically tissues? They are basically colonies of these cells and each tissue, each tissue performs a specific function. Right? A group of cells, a colony of cells present together and each tissue makes a own function. The next is organ. Right? So an organ can have various tissues in it and so as each tissue performs its own function so obviously inside an organ there are different tissues and that means there are different functions being performed right so so i have a picture of stomach here in front of you can you tell me what are the different functions growing on inside a stomach So, Raf, we do not, we cannot really say uh, how are, you know, tissues big. Tissues, the size of tissues depends on the structure of the organ they will form. Okay, the first and foremost function of uh, stomach is digestion. Anything else? To kill bacteria when food enters. How is that... Uh, you know, killing done, it is by providing an acidic medium, right? So, certain tissues in the stomach are basically, they have their function of producing acid. Which is that acid? HCl, very good. And then there will be certain tissues in the stomach which are, you know, present for forming some digestive juices, which will do the digestion. Very good. After that, there would also be certain tissues in your stomach which will help in churning of the food, right, and proper mixing of the food. So, they could be a little muscle cells sort of thing, right, which will be helping in proper churning. Yes, those digestive juices are made up of enzymes. Very good. So, you know, then there are certain cells, certain cells forming tissue, certain tissue which are present at the opening and ending of stomach which closes the stomach when there, when it is full of food so that if you know because if that churning is going on and if this opening is not closed the food can come out and a person will start vomiting right so to stop that vomiting and if the food is not digested, that undigested food can directly go towards intestines. So to avoid that also, there will be flaps here, right? So there are tissues which are doing a system of gatekeeping at the end and the opening and the end, right? The flaps. So again, as you can see, each organ, take it any organ of your body, it is made up of tissues and those tissues are doing different functions. And that tissue in one particular type of tissue, only one particular type of cells will be present. Alright? Yes, heart is also an organ. So when you have, you know, a lot of organs functioning, uh, you know, working together for a particular function, we call that an organ system. Can you give me examples of organ systems? Yes, digestive system. We just discussed one uh, organ that is stomach of our digestive system. Any other, uh, or rather, why don't you tell me your favorite organs, uh, you know, life processes or organ system. Good, we have respiratory system, the nervous system. Anything else? Respiratory system, excretory system, there is circulatory system. We have the muscular system, skeletal system. Right? Okay. So I see now you all know and understand that from cell tissue to organ and organ systems, finally when all these organ systems are working together in harmony, we have the organism together, right?